Hey, I'm Tony Mohan from Samsung. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of Galaxy Watch Designer, our free software for creating watch faces for the Galaxy Watch. First question is, where can you get it? Just head over to our website, developer.samsung.com. All right, let's take a look at Galaxy Watch Designer. All right, so this is Galaxy Watch Designer. Um, I've just started a new project, so it doesn't have any watch face elements in it. I'm gonna kind of navigate around through some of the tools, and then we're gonna build out a basic watch face. So um, this is your workspace area. So as you add your elements for your watch face in, you'll work in this area here. To the right side, though, is this run window. This is actually a preview emulator. So as you build your watch face, you can actually control the functions of it as far as the time and date, and, and we'll go over some of those in just a bit. But this is where you actually see your working watch face. Um, along the left sidebar here, these are some component tools for adding in different elements of your watch face. And along the top here, these are some um, alignment tools that are used for whether you want to align to center or maybe move some layers to the front or to the bottom um, and a few other tools that we'll go over in just a bit. And then down here at the bottom, this is the timeline. So this is where you'll see your layers are going to be added that are the different elements of your watch face. And then this is the time that they're shown. So we'll go over that in just a moment when I start adding in some layers. So let's start by adding in a background. So if I click on the background component tool there, I can select from any of these default preset uh, backgrounds. I'm going to click on this blue one here. Uh, next, let's put in an index. So an index, that's the markings that show the hours on a traditional analog watch. I want to go with something pretty simple. So let me just select the 360 simple. Okay, next I'm going to bring in a watch hand. So you bring the hands in uh, one at a time. Um, I'm going to go with this classic hour hand here. And notice that when you bring in this element over in the properties panel, you actually have the ability to control some of the, um, the functions of it. So in this case here under rotation properties, it says sync with hour in day. Okay, that's what we want because this is an hour hand. Now, when we bring in the minute hand, notice it also comes in defaulted as hour in day. So I want to change that to minutes in hour. And if you notice here in our preview window, that minute hand now is showing the true time of when we're building this watch face. Now let's add in a second hand. We'll go with this classic second hand. And again, it defaults to hour and day. So let me just change that to seconds and minutes. Now, if I come over here to this run window and I actually hit the play button, you'll see my second hand working. I can actually change the, uh, the movement of that second hand uh, down here under movement effect. Right now it's set to normal. If I wanted to do something like sweep, that is just gonna be a constant rotating uh, watch hand. Um, but you know what? I kind of like the ticking of the normal one. So let's just stick with that for now. Um, let's change some colors. So the uh, watch hands came in, the second hand came in as a default in red, but you know what? I want to change that a bit. Let's make that, um, how about if we go with something more like a, like a green? Yeah, something like that looks pretty nice. And then for the hour hands, I'm going to select the um, the minute hand, come over here to appearance, select adjust color, and notice when I change it, nothing is happening. Well, because it's white, I actually have to add more saturation to it. So if I bump up that saturation, now you can see that I can adjust the color. So I want something that's contrasting a bit from that green from the second hand. Yeah, let's go with that right there. So take note, it says 26 for the hue, 100 for the saturation, zero for the lightness. Um, if I go down now to the hour hand and I want to do the same, I'm gonna hit adjust. I can actually come in here and type in those numbers instead of using the slider. There we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is let's add in a digital clock. So I click the digital clock component button there and it puts the digital clock right in the center of the watch face. So I'm gonna wanna go ahead and move that up. Um, but something I wanna do with this is rather than show the, the hour and the minutes and the seconds, I don't wanna show the seconds. So come down here to ICU format and I am going to delete the SS that was there as well as that colon. And then I also want to get rid of the space that's on either side of the colon. So 
hit return and you can see now my digital clock just shows the current hour and current minute. Notice though that it also is showing the hour in the 24 hour format. Um, let's say that I want this to be a 12 hour digital clock. There's actually a change that you would make. So rather than using capital H's here for the ICU format, I'm gonna make those lowercase h's. And now my digital clock shows the hour on a 12 hour clock. Notice also it's showing a zero in front of the three for three o'clock. If I only wanted to show just a single digit when it is a single digit hour, I can get rid of one of those H's in the ICU format. And now it just shows the single digit for the hour. I can test this by dragging this slider over here to show the time changing. And notice when it goes to 10 o'clock, it still shows a double digit. It's kind of nice. Um, Size-wise though, that digital clock is a bit too small. So let's bump that up. Now I can go in here and, and physically change in these numbers. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just select 93. Let's see what that turns out. That's pretty nice. Notice on the left, the text box is not wide enough to show the four digits for the hour and minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend this text box out. That way I know it's gonna be shown completely when it's um, double digits. Um, let's move that up a little bit and let's add a little color to the, uh, font there. Um, how about if we go, you know, we'll go with that sort of green that kind of matches a little bit of that second hand. Excellent. Okay. So, um, next let's, um, add in an image. Now you can use some of the, the, there's some default preset uh, images that come with Galaxy Watch Designer. But one of the nice thing is it actually lets you import in your own image. So I've got this little smiley face graphic here. And you can see as I place him around, he'll reappear in my run window so I can adjust where I want him to be. Um, let's just go ahead and put him center. Now, an easy way to make him centered is with this item selected, I can come up here to this tool, which is center align both vertically and horizontally. And uh, you know what, he's on top of all of the elements. So let's go ahead and move him down. So in this timeline here, you can see all the different layers that I have. Um, I can either grab that layer and drag it down. You can see he can move down by hand, or I can use these arrows to completely move him down from the other layers. So, He's still in a bit in a peculiar spot because of his size. So let's adjust his size now. I'm going to just hold down the shift button and make him a little bit smaller. Go ahead and recenter him. Let's move up that digital clock a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Next, we can add in a text component. So I could just bring in normal text if I wanted to type something, or I can use one of these other options for tracking different data. These are the different sensors that are on the watch. Uh, let's go with step count. So what this does, this will actually track the steps that you, the, uh, the user is taking when they're wearing the watch. And if I come over to the run window and I go to my health, I can actually check that this is functioning correctly. Let me go ahead and change this to 5,000 steps. And notice here in my preview window, it shows 5,000 steps. Um, this also tells me that he's above the, um, the watch hand layer. So let me move that down until he appears below. Okay, so that works. Now, you can also add in animations. Animations really are a sequence of ping files. So if you can use a program like Photoshop to generate an animation that is a sequence of pings, you can bring those pings in to the, your watch design. And lastly, in the sidebar here, we've got um, a tool called complications. And complications are similar to the, uh, the text sensors. And complications are pre-built sensors that have um, different layers to them. So I could bring in a, um, a battery gauge or something that tracks my steps as far as a gauge goes. Um, uh, let's go with heart rate. 
And let's see, how about we choose this heart rate here? Now with those selected, I'm gonna hold down my shift button and move those down. It does move in increments of 10 pixels. Let me move that down to there. Our step counter's now a little bit in the way. Um, so let's take our step counter and I'm just gonna move him off to the side. I'm just holding down the shift button and using my arrow keys to um, reposition that. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually come over here to my properties window and I can place this by putting in a numeric value. So I'm gonna change this to 50 from 143 and you can see he moved up. But let's put that back to 143. Okay, so um, we're gonna now want to take that heart rate component, which included these three layers and move those down below those watch hands so that the watch hands appear above them. And then if I wanted to, I could then adjust the coloring of those graphics. So this here is the, uh, the text for BPM. I'm gonna hit adjust color. Let me darken that up. And for the heart, I'm gonna do the same. Darken that up a little bit. Add some saturation to it. And let's see if we can find a nice, fun color. How about we go with... You know, there we go. That's what I was looking for. A nice little pink. And you know what? That BPM down there. Let's um, adjust that as well. There's the BPM. So I'm gonna bring that saturation up, bring the lightness up. That's a bit too much. Let's go like this. Okay, that works for now. Um, so if I didn't want the word steps to appear uh, for the step counter, I can actually remove that. So let me select the uh, component for the step counter, come over here to the display type. And if I click on that, I can select an option which just shows the percent sign in the D. And that will now just show my step counter is a, just a numeric value. You know, along with that, if I wanted to, I could put in a a symbol or an icon, maybe like a tennis shoe or something that shows for steps, but kind of cleans up that design a little bit. Um, so this is a basic watch face in Galaxy Watch Designer. Um, coming over here to the run window, I had shown how you can change some of those settings in here. Um, another feature that you can do is to see what your watch face looks like on a watch. So I can select from different watches from the collection of Galaxy Watches. Um, let's go with something like, there we go. That's the traditional, it's a, it's called the Frontier. It's our S3 watch. I can change the bands. So you can see, you can uh, really get a good feel of what your watch would look like on the different watches. And what's nice also then is if I wanted to, I could actually take a photograph of this watch by clicking this tool here. And this tells me that the image is saved into a certain folder on my computer as a PNG file. So it's pretty cool. All right, so that's a quick overview of Galaxy Watch Designer. If you wanna see a more in-depth tutorial on how to build a watch face, make sure you watch my next video where I'm gonna take more components and build a more complex watch face. All right, see you then.